If there's any Pokemon that you could call the greatest of all time in competitive singles, it's Tyranitar. Since its release in Generation 2, Tyranitar has not only been OU in every game since, but in many formats throughout competitive history, it's among the absolute best. In Gen 3 OU, Tyranitar is the number one strongest Pokemon in the game, and in Gen 4 and 5, it's a strong contender for the number one spot. Tyranitar's great stats, move pool, offensive typing, outstanding ability Sandstream, boosted special defense from the Sandstorm, and its role as the most effective anti-ghost and psychic Pokemon with its access to Pursuit has made Tyranitar probably the most consistent Pokemon in competitive singles history. Even when Pursuit was removed from the game in Generation 8, Tyranitar still didn't drop from OU. This was a significant nerf, but its potency is a check to many common special threats like Dragapult and Volcarona, access to Stealth Rock, and the versatility from its wide move pool was still very solid. Even with the power creep of new generations, and after losing one of its most important tools, Tyranitar remained a viable Pokemon in OU. In Generation 9, some of the most noteworthy new additions to the game are the Paradox Pokemon. In Pokemon Scarlet, these are variants of existing Pokemon from the ancient past. In Pokemon Violet, you have access to robotic versions of existing Pokemon from the future, with the new ability Quark Drive, which boosts their primary stat in Electric Terrain. Although some of the original versions of these Pokemon still have their uses, most of them are a direct upgrade. In the case of Fluttermane, the Ancient Mistrevis, and Iron Bundle, the robot deli bird from the future, they're not only significantly more powerful than their original forms, they're so strong that they were actually already banned from competitive play. But one of these Paradox Pokemon stands out as being straight up inferior to its original form, and that is the new future Tyranitar, Iron Thorns. Most Paradox Pokemon have significantly upgraded stats from their original forms. Iron Thorns, on the other hand, is actually a downgrade. It has a decreased special attack and special defense stat, and only a very slight boost to speed. So, it has worse stats. Does it make up for that in other areas? No, not really. Its ability Quark Drive, while a strong ability, is definitely a downgrade from Sandstream. The only electric terrain setter in the game at the moment is Pink Kirchen, who is a pretty underwhelming choice. Access to the new booster energy item is okay, but it's not necessarily better than the other options for held items available to Iron Thorns. Any ability that creates a weather effect is going to be among the most powerful abilities in Pokemon. An otherwise poor choice can be elevated to viability purely for having a weather ability like Pelipper or Torkoal. Not only does Sandstream allow Tyranitar to chip enemies that aren't rock, ground, or steel type with the Sandstorm damage and enable Sand Synergy effects for teammates, it also boosts Tyranitar's own special defense stat because he's a rock type. Quark Drive doesn't offer nearly as much as Sandstream does. And last but not least, there is the typing. The rock electric typing of Iron Thorns is also, in my opinion, a downgrade. Losing dark type means losing a valuable resistance to Ghost, one of the most popular and powerful types in the game. And dark is also a very strong stab type. With rock electric typing, Iron Thorns gains a times four weakness to ground, which is pretty devastating. Tyranitar does have a times 4 weakness to fighting, but the benefit of resisting and also threatening ghost types with stab, along with its various other advantages, does make up for this. The new electric typing of Iron Thorns doesn't really provide very much. So there you have it folks, the fancy new robot Tyranitar is inferior to the original. Tyranitar still remains an OU Pokemon, while Iron Thorns has unfortunately dropped down to UU. Even though Tyranitar is still OU after all these years, the power creep is definitely starting to catch up. It certainly isn't the top tier metagame defining beast that it once was. I guess we'll have to wait and see if Gen 9 is the gen that finally drops Tyranitar down to UU. But isn't it fitting that the one Pokemon firmly superior to its paradox form is the true ancient beast Tyranitar? the greatest competitive Pokemon in history. Personally, I hope that our favorite Godzilla lookalike stays OU forever. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more competitive Gen 9 gameplay, discussion, and informative content. Thank you to the patrons. If you'd like to see a team that you built feature in one of my videos or request a video topic for me to cover, take a look at my Patreon rewards in the description for more information. The money got different.
Cause of what I'm spending The money got different Oh, it's Magneton! Cause of what I'm spending Whoa, The money got different Cause of what I'm spending The money got different Cause of what I'm spending